In my last video, I have shown you how to create new measures to compare the values of text field in different tables using if statement and some x. I've also mentioned that whenever possible, we should try to avoid calculated columns and use measures instead, unless if we need to display the value of your calculated columns in a slicer in our Power BI reports. And that is what we will cover in this video. I will show you how to create calculated columns so that you can compare the values of text fields from different tables and so that we can display the output in a slicer. I will be building the examples from Power BI report that we used last week. You can download the file from my website, lighthouseanalytics.com. Last week, I have shown you how we can compare the text values in two fields that sit into tables using measures rather than calculated column. And we spoke about the benefit of using measures because it is faster, it is more optimal, and it is the recommended method. However, there is one drawback of using measures rather than calculated columns. And the drawback is we cannot display the value of the measures in a slicer. So if we want to create a slicer like this, in a report, then we will need to create calculated columns. And I want to show you how to do that in this week's video. Let's re-familiarize ourselves with our tables. We have purchases table, date, item name, supplier name, and purchase quantity. And then we have the item table that lists out the item name and preferred supplier name for each item. So let's first check if supplier name in this column is the same as the preferred supplier name. I'm going to first add a new column that shows preferred supplier name. And we're going to say related open bracket item preferred supplier name. This is basically saying bring in the value of preferred supplier name from the item table. And I'm going to tick commit. This is very similar to VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP in Excel. This is only possible if we have previously defined a relationship between item and purchases table, which we have done in last week's video. If your table does not have the relationship, really all you need to do is simply click and drag the common field. In this instance, the common field is the item name, so just click and drag. Next, I'm going to insert another column and in here, we are going to call it purchase from PS, yes, no. And this is going to be an if statement. We're going to say if PS name is equal to supplier name from the purchases table, then it's going to be yes. If not, it's going to be no. So we are saying, if they're the same, it means that I am buying from preferred supplier. If not, then it's a no. Okay, now that we have done this, it will enable us to create a slicer. So we're going to copy this page that we created last week, and we're going to create a report with a slicer in here. And this is our slicer, and we can click and drag the purchase from supplier yes no so now if i click yes only the yeses whereby we are buying from preferred supplier is displayed if i click no then just a no and then if we don't click anything then it's basically everything Congratulations, you now know how to compare the value of text fields from different tables using calculated columns. Let me say it one more time. Calculated columns should only be used in very special occasions, only when we need to display the values of the field as a slicer in the report. Creating too many calculated columns are not efficient and should be avoided wherever possible. See you next time.